Are you serious? Are you serious? Is this Nubaru? Get some coffee. Calm down. But this is the question we're going to ask. A lot of people are wondering. This is uh, breaking news, actually. The astronomers are freaking out. That's the exact words. The astronomers are freaking out over this newly discovered exoplanet that has a lot of astronomers excited and for good reason. The exoplanet dubbed GJ1132b is about the size of Earth and lives <clears throat> in a solar system roughly 39 light years from Earth, according to a team of scientists that are reporting in today uh, issues of the uh, different types of situations that they're reviewing here. Today's announcement, furthermore, the exoplanet is the closest rocky Earth-sized exoplanet ever discovered by far. Now, the next closest is about three times further away. Uh, to answer the question, no, this isn't Nubaru, I don't believe. This isn't Planet X or Planet 7X or a dwarf star. It is an exoplanet, but it is visible, uh, and astronomers are, have recognized it and realized that it is uh, now viewable. Uh, this GJ1132b, that size and distance are what have astronomers like Drake Deming at the University of Maryland who is not part of the study, saying that this planet is arguably the most important planet ever found outside our solar system. The reason is because GJ1132 is close enough for astronomers to point their telescopes at it and sniff out any traces of the atmosphere. So, this is very, very, very interesting that now... They are telling us about this planet, and uh, what does that mean? Why did they? Why did NASA all of a sudden go quiet in 1992 after they were doing complete? They had complete teams researching uh, Nubiru or Planet X, and then in 1992 they went silent and never spoke of it again. Uh, but we are getting a lot of heads up out there of a lot of things that they are discovering. And this one now being brought to our attention, this exoplanet, it's not headed toward us or anything. It's just, it is recognized that there is, uh, you know, there in, out in the distance, God has created so many things, so many comets, so many asteroids, so many planets, so many universes. We have no idea the depth and the breadth and the length of God. We, he is Alpha and Omega, the beginning, the end, the first and last. But is NASA trying to hide from us? something that would be so significant are they pointing us in different directions looking around the universes of the world at least outside of ours and at right under our nose is there another system and will it affect us well let's just go by with the scriptures the bible does say that we will have a deep deep impact we know it's going to be some type of an asteroid no doubt crashing in like a burning mountain or like a lamp coming as it smashes into the sea and kills a third of the population of the world and the ships and all the living creatures in the sea. So we know this is coming. The question is, are you ready for the hour upon us? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Well, we're going to continue to study these, these things that are happening in the heavens. As the Bible says, there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea, and the waves roaring. Men's hearts shall fail them for fear, for looking after those things that are coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So there's definitely a cosmic storm approaching. And even David Wilkerson prophesied it. In that 1973 prophecy, 52 minutes long, he told us what was going to come upon the world, the condition of the world, the cultural changes, uh, even upon the church. Everything he prophesied in 1973 has come to pass and even more. Only thing that hasn't 
is that cosmic storm he saw coming. Are you saved? 